viewers welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for spending your precious time on my channel i really appreciate much but if you are new you are welcome i talk of relationships fashion beauty and life experiences in general so please subscribe now <laughs> for today's video guys it will be a story time and i'm going to be talking about friends everyone in this world needs friends even me i make friends every day because friends are important to our lives guys when we are down friends are there down with us when we are up friends are there up with us when we cry they are there to cry with us but when we celebrate they are there to celebrate with us that is why we need friends guys into our lives but be careful when you choose friends be careful with the people you bring into your life because some people come to our lives to destroy us to put us down to use us they come to our lives just because they want something from us that is when i remember there is a very thin line between love and hate but not all friends are bad because there are some friends who come as a blessing who want to be with you who feel very positive to be around you so let us start our today's story back in the days guys i didn't know how to choose friends if a girl smiles at me talks to me nicely then i consider that girl as a friend but i was wrong guys very wrong so i was working and there was this girl she was a friend to me because for me if you use they say that show me your friend i tell you who you are then you'll be wrong about me because my friends were always opposite of me neighbors quarrelsome talkative because i am polite and they liked me for that because when they are up i am down because if she's up and stays with another girl who is up then it's like adding oil to fire <laughs> you know what will happen <laughs> so it was like that i had such kind of friend and my friend was like that very talkative very quarrelsome very nervous but a good thing i like about nervous people they never keep things at heart at all never it comes and goes like so this girl was like that and we walked for some time then afterwards she resigned and i left when i remained uh, I worked also for some time and went the other way. So we separated and after four years, guys, I was in a mall for shopping. I met this girl again. She was so happy. She came and hugged me. Uh, she was like, I was looking for your phone number, but I couldn't know how I can get it. I'm so happy to meet you and we talked all the things that had happened all the time that we haven't met and she was going through a divorce very sad so i was sorry for that and we exchanged phone numbers she went and i returned home so guys we started chatting talking calling me and at that time guys i wasn't working i was self-employed i had a shop I was selling some things, I was selling cultural shoes, I was selling uh, curtains, bed sheets and a lot of things. So when I talked to her, I was like, I'm doing business and she said, oh, that's good. You can come at my workplace and show your products, then I help you out so that you can sell and make business. So I say, that's good. So we planned. And I went to her workplace. When I arrived, guys, she had talked to the friends and the colleagues. They bought my products. I really made money that day. A lot of money, guys, because, you know, a talkative person, they always have this convincing tongue. So I was so happy because I made business and I returned to my shop. So guys. This friend 
started inviting me out to go out together with her uh, so we could go out to the beach we could go clubbing we could go having fun guys <laughs> you know when you're young and you you just want to have fun single so life is so fun <laughs> so we could go out and hang out and she could always be with this boy this boy was a colleague they were working together guys and she told me he was the best friend to her so he could always be there so i i, I saw it as just a normal thing he's a friend you can choose to be to have a best friend who is a man or who is a woman so i thought that was okay and this friend of mine started gifting me things guys one time i remember if you remember my story that i told you that a man stole my phone on my first date yes when i lost that phone i was really confused and i didn't have right away the money to buy an expensive phone like the one that he stole so i remained with a small phone who had which has which had no whatsapp or instagram it was just a normal phone so this friend of mine guys bought me a phone a smartphone guys she bought me a smartphone and i was really happy guys really happy grateful i was like oh my god this friend is heaven sent because you know when you're doing business guys you just can't take money and go buy an expensive phone no it doesn't work like that you need to save <laughs> to reach to the amount of buying an expensive phone so she gifted me a very expensive phone a smartphone and i was happy so she continued giving me gifts guys she could give me shoes a handbag i was like oh my god this girl is so sweet so and sometimes she could even invite me for dinner and we could go with this boy always the boy was there and sometimes i could go visit her place she was living alone because i told you she was divorced and if i arrived then after two hours the boy could come too she could tell me ah he's coming to visit also so i would say ah that's good so we could have fun and dance put music and dance so life was fun guys i really love this girl so it continued like that till one day that i'll never forget in my life she invited me to her place it was during the weekend i remember and she was living very far from the place i was living so i could take two bus to reach to where she used to live so that Sunday, I woke up very early, prepared at around 11 in the morning. I took the bus and I went. I arrived at around 12.30. I found her cooking and I helped her with the cooking also. We arranged everything and when we finished cooking, the food was ready, the boy arrived. So when he arrived, we ate and had fun talk joke you know <laughs> friends so after that i had to tell her that i need to go back home because it is monday business day we have to start business so she was like ah if you are leaving and he is also leaving you can go together i was like oh that's okay then the boy was like but you're going to visit my, my home today. Home? How? Why visit you? <laughs> I was very surprised, guys. Very surprised, like, why should I go visit this boy? I didn't have even the plan to visit the boy. <laughs> How? Then she told me, hey, you can go and visit him. He's a friend. I was like, yes, he's a friend, but your friend so 
why should I go visit him? There is no reason. Then the boy was like talking to the friend, to my friend. I was like, haven't you talked? I thought you have talked. I was like, guys, what are you talking about? Tell me. Then my friend called me, you come, can we talk? I said, okay, we can talk. So I went and she was like, you know, all the things that I gave you, the phone, the smartphone that I bought you, the shoes, the, the outings, the dinner, the handbag, it was him. He used to give me the money, then I do the things because this boy loves you. I was like, what? Are you serious? She, she told me, yes. So what I think, you should go to his house to visit. I'm like, wait. So, you've been taking this boy's money, buying me things, lying to me. I thought you were my friend. So you were using me to get the money of this boy. And how much money has this boy given? Then she was like, oh, no, you don't worry, but where is the problem? You can just go and visit, or you can just go and sleep with him just one night, and it ends there, because he loves you and he has spent a lot. I was like, you are evil. You are really evil. For your information, I won't do what you're telling me, and I am very disappointed in you. So guys, I left. I remember I cried, guys. Do you know trusting a person and out of nowhere, it comes like a surprise. This person betrays you. So I cried, I left, and when I reached home, I did not want to listen to what she wanted to say. But surprisingly, guys, the boy started calling me. He called me and he was like, for me, I love you. I love you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really love you. Please, please. Yes, I've been spending a lot of money on you. I gave it to your friend. I thought she had talked to you. So please, please, I want to be your boyfriend. I was like, listen to me. I like you as a person. But for love, but for love, for me, it is a no. It won't happen. I don't love you. I like you as a person. So please, just leave me in peace. He was like, no, I love you. Guys, he sent a lot of love songs that night. A lot, a lot, a lot. It's like he was crazy, guys. He was going crazy. Then I told him, stop. Stop what you're doing. I don't love you. Get it clear. I don't love you. Then he was like, so why did your friend lie to me? Your friend told me that you like me and you had accepted everything. So I had thought everything is going good. So he started like being rude to me. He started sending songs love songs but those songs that a man complains to a woman so <laughs> he was so childish guys very childish and that's why i call him a boy so he did that sent a lot of songs sent a lot of messages call me continuously i got tired and i had to call a friend and told her that please talk to this boy to stop disturbing me then my friend was like but why can't you give him what he wants? Give him what he wants and the story ends. If not, you have to pay him. It's like, what? Pay him what? Pay him all the things that I spent on you. I bought you a lot of things. The phone you have, you have to even return the phone because the phone, the money that I used to buy the phone was his. All the things that I used to buy you was his. So you should be planning to pay him. If you're not plan if you're not planning to start the love with him, or if you're not planning to sleep with him, because you need to pay. 
he spent a lot of money and this boy started complaining I spent a lot of my money all my savings I spent on you and I work so hard I really work so hard it will be a very bad thing if you just use my money just like that if I just lose money like that if you don't want to be my girlfriend it hurts me a lot I was like you guys stop what you're talking about I did not make any contract with any of you and do you know a very bad thing guys they told me like a very big amount they were like you need to pay this amount <laughs> guys I got frustrated I could not sleep sometimes I could not eat I could think like how could a person be like that how could a person be so evil like that so there was this friend of mine a girl she was she had a character like the one that they betrayed me had like strong talkative and very quarrelsome so she could quarrel because for me i am polite guys i don't know how to quarrel like a strong quarrel i can't so my friend told me you know what i'll buy this fight i'm going to buy it <laughs> so when they called my friend was there she picked the call and she was like talking to the boy she was like you listen you are not a man because a real man will never use another woman to get to another woman you should have done this yourself and why didn't you call this girl and ask her if she loves you is there any day that you talk to this girl and she told you that she loves you if that day she did if there is that day that she accepted or she said i love you too then i lose this fight but if she did not you just played your stupid game that money you want this girl to pay you should be paid by your friend but not this girl stop calling her stop messaging her and tell your friend too to stop calling her she's very polite she cannot talk i'm talking on behalf of her i am a hooligan there is a place in the Islam, tanzania they call it kinondoni or she was like i am a girl from kinondoni i'm a hooligan and what i'll do to you guys the two of you i'll send hooligans and they'll do a very bad thing to you if you don't know so I beg you to stop if you want then wait for the fight then she hung up and she was like I mean it you know I mean it I am a bad girl and I'm going to show them how can they treat you like this look at yourself you can't sleep you don't even want to eat you just cry why should you pay did you enter any contract with them no if not they should leave you alone and don't give anything back don't all the things that you want to give them back you give them to me <laughs> give them to me if you don't want them just give them to me but don't pay a penny to them so I was like okay <laughs> But guys, she saved me. She saved me, guys. She saved me. I thank her to today because from that day, I felt free. I felt happy. I felt like I've learned something, you know? So after that, they stopped. They never called me again. And after three weeks, she called me back the other friend that betrayed me and started wanting to be friends with me again but I refused and I said no I don't want to be your friend continue with, the, with your life thank you for your wickedness and I wish you luck in your life 
so she was like oh no don't talk like that everything is okay we have settled everything i told her i don't want to be your friend so she called my friend that defended me and wanted to be friends with her but my friend refused and she was like she laughed as my friend explained that she was laughing on the phone and she said that if she had accepted accepted to sleep with a boy i could have loved her so much i could have seen that she is so stupid but she was clever she did not and my friend told her that you are a very bad woman but i don't want to be your friend continue with what you're doing but next time you will find a very very bad person and you'll be in trouble then it ended there guys they never called me and i never called them the friendship ended guys i forgave her yes from my heart i forgave her but friends with her no even if she comes back today i cannot become friends with her forgive yes i forgive her because once a person betrays you it's not good to give again the second chance because the, the second chance can be the worst experience i tell you guys thank you so much for watching this video till now i really appreciate you much please Comment below what you think about this video. What could you have done if you were me? Give it a thumbs up. If you've liked it, share with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this story. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch my other videos too. I love you so much. You're always here. Ciao, ciao.